Hey, what's up you guys? It's Tank from New Republic, and today I'm going to do a video suggested by Rogue Aviation. He wanted to see an updated video on my room tour. So I did a video not too long ago, earlier this year, I don't remember when exactly, and it was just of my room, and he just simply wanted an update of my room tour. So I figured why not? I uh, did pretty well last time, I had fun making it, and I also love making videos that y'all enjoy. So here we go. So... This is my door. This is where I come in and out of. Uh, if you already can't already tell, it's going to be a pretty laid back kind of video. Uh, starting above my door, up here I've got two um, Scottish flags. One is the old one and the new one. I am Scottish. Um, so that's pretty cool and I actually got those when I was in Scotland. Moving over to my desk area and such, um, I've got clocks from almost, I think I have every time zone. Not sure. Um, um, Dallas didn't used to be here, so it actually goes in order across the, like, um, world. So you start off with Sydney and Australia, then Honolulu, Honolulu LA, New York, London, um, Paris, Moscow, Beijing, and Tokyo. Um, but then I realized I don't even have a clock for my own, um, time zone. And so that's why we added Dallas, but then I didn't want to have to move everything, because I'm kind of lazy, and so that's why Dallas is at the end and is stuck in between Sydney, um, and Tokyo. Um, up here... Um, the way that my um, ceiling works in my room is um, it's angled on both sides, which is really cool because then I can put flags. Um, you'll notice over there I still have a gap, and I've been determining for a while of what I want to put there. Um, but for right now, over here, I've got a Don't Tread on Me black and white DTOM flag, and I've also got a Milan Labi, um, which is basically like the first version of Come and Take It. A uh, pretty cool story if you haven't read about it, look it up. Um, moving towards my desk, this is my giant desk. I love it. This is an Ikea desk. I don't even know if they make it anymore. It's a corner desk. It's awesome. Um, it's got two extensions on it. One there, one there. I love it. Giant workspaces are my favorite thing, which is funny because my workbench is pathetically small. Um, so, huge Ikea desk underneath the uh, organizer school stuff. Yay, college. Um, uh, save for it. Just keep money and stuff. Um, and then Project Mobili. If you haven't watched the series on that, I will link it in the description. Really cool. Friend of... Um, my friend and I engineered and designed a basically where you can put consoles in it and make it mobile. It is um, completely based off the um, game Century and the games G115. Um, or G is it G115 or G55? I think it's G115. But um, you basically can put any console that you want if it's even a giant Xbox One in there. It has a 19 inch TV, I think. 19 inch TV in there. Pretty beefy, pretty heavy, but you can you can take it anywhere, and then you can bring a console and play it wherever. It's got a there's a, I'll just go watch the whole series on. It's really cool, and you can see the whole process. Um, more underneath this side, I've got another uh, organizer, basically just junk in there, and anything that I need. Um, trash can and recycling bin. I do like to recycle under there. I've got a custom built um, footrest, custom built as in wood. And then you can see the clutter of mess. That is all my power. I've got two Belkin, they're either 12 or 14 outlet um, power strips down there. It's ridiculous. And then I've got other stuff. Yeah, it's a mess. Um, but it's all protected and stuff, so if I ever have a problem, it'll be fine. And then underneath the footrest is the subwoofer for the Logitech surround sound, which for 100 bucks is a pretty good 5 to 1 surround sound. Um, starting over here on the left side, this is my, um, I've got an American flag here, and then I've got a back the blue flag here. Oh, where's the blue? Here we go. Thin blue line. Uh, these are both poles. Um, in the summer, sometimes I'll march with them. Um, either around my neighborhood or town hall is not far from me. It's just up on Main Street, so Main Street. So I've walked, um, or marched, however, all the way to town hall before, which is about, uh, I don't remember, six or seven miles, I think. I think it's round seven. But yeah, really, really cool. Um, I got the opportunity to do it with a friend, and he's from Taiwan, so he had a um, Taiwanese flag, and we both marched. It was really cool. I'm carrying my country. He's carrying his. Really cool stuff. Up there is a um, custom um, lightsaber based on Darth Maul's lightsaber, except like the hilt isn't big enough, but um, I built that at Disney World one time when I was there. Moving here, this was the first shelf that started the whole box collection thing, and then now it's just kind of expanded over there. Um, going really quickly through all this, Game Boy Color, uh, DSi, different Mario stuff, uh, DSX, Human Revolution, Collector's Edition, and then also a 
a Gears of War, the first one looked like a collector's edition. This is a, uh, I don't remember what it's called. It's from Halo, I don't remember, I think it's a, uh, is it called a, mm, it's not a Pelican, Pelican's a bigger one. The flying thing from Halo, it's also, it's mainly in Halo Reach. Different Halo, there's a Master Chief, Darth Vader, Thief, um, with his diamond armor and his helmet comes off, which is kind of cool. Uh, oh wow, he's falling, oh wow. Um, that's Psy from Duck Dynasty, here we go, old iPod, Speed Cola and Double Tap Root Beer. Um, paper craft of this um, Homer from The Simpsons, and then as well as a creeper, and then boxes. This is a iPad 2, yeah, iPad 2 box, iPhone 6s Plus, iPhone 5s. There's a Minecraft book back there, Apple Watch. My watch is going crazy right now. Um, Nintendo 3DS XL, the old version. Um, Echo Dot, Alexa, Alexa, stop. Um, PS Vita first version, and then Nintendo DSi box for that over there. Um, moving over here, I've got a Wii Tech L85, um, so the gas L85 in a little frame here. There's a, I got some like magazines when I went to like Nashville Airsoft way back in the day, and in the middle they have like a really cool double-sided picture, and I decided to put one in there, because I had the frame, and I was like, no, oh, there's nothing here. Uh, Pine Cove, that is where I go for summer. Um, not for summer, it's a uh, Christian camp in East Texas that I go to. I love it, it's awesome, it's a cult, you should join. Uh, TV, Toshiba 32 inch. Right now it's just set up on Chromecast, um, on Shuffle, on my Guns and Gear playlist. Um, for Google Photos, uh, yeah. Um, it's really cool that I, I figured out finally how to put my own pictures on there. And I love it just because it shows me older pictures. Uh, this is a picture of Gingerbread, by the way. Um, one of the guys from New Republic. And so it's just cool, just, you know, random photos pop up on there. Uh, moving down, this video is probably going to be super, super long. There's a whole bunch of stuff going on here. So we've got this main shelf here, or this, like, raised platform, right? And then underneath you, we've got, this is a um, mock um, from The Force Awakens of Rey on Jakku. I think that's the planet. Uh, and those are some raiders, not raiders, uh, Ungar's thugs, I think is what they're called. Uh, this is her and her speeder, <sighs> and I've modified, and this is her in the desert. It really cool, it was like my first Lego mock, and I had a lot of fun doing it. <laughs> Expensive, but it was fun. Charging station, charging station for all, uh, four major consoles, so we've got PS3, Xbox 360, so last generation, and current generation, PS4, and Xbox One. Uh, it's pretty cool, I got my hands on an Xbox One Slim controller. Um, Xbox One old VCR version. Uh, up here is usually where I keep um, external batteries and stuff. This is an Anchor 5 plug deal majugi USB charger thing. Um, IQ charging from Anchor is awesome. I rock one on my nightstand over there. Uh, charges stuff so much faster, it's uh, pretty cool. Um, Seagate, one and a half terabyte external hard drive for. The Xbox One, is it one and a half? No, four terabyte, four terabyte, way different. Four terabyte external drive. Um, different movies and stuff, or, um, oh geez. Um, this is all, like, war documentary stuff, and I've never watched a single one of them. And I don't know why I really bought all of those, because I can probably watch all of it on YouTube. Um, it was years and years ago. Star Wars deal, a bunch of Lego weapons and stuff. This weird American tattoo that I got from a friend that I've never used. Pretty cool, huh? camera for my contour, this little laser presenter thing, which I tried to use once and it didn't work, um, and then it plugs into like a computer. Random lock that I got that I don't have the combination for, rock, one of the mini speakers. This is one of my um, custom built, not custom built, um, custom coasters. Uh, you just basically take a tile which you can buy for like less than a dollar at Lowe's, and then you print out the picture and then you use um, a Mugu or whatever, and then you put it on there and then you buy little felt feet on the bottom. Super easy. A uh, cube that I built in engineering last year. Uh, pretty cool. You got to design all that on computer and then actually build it. Small Dr. Pepper collection. And this one, if I remember, is from like 1890 something. Um, I remember finding the date on, on it and that's why I bought it, but I can't find it again. Up here is a whole mess of stuff. This is where I usually keep my EDC stuff, but because of school, it's kind of just scattered. Because like this is what I can bring to school. This is what I can't um, for obvious reasons. But, you know, uh, passport stuff when I went to Mexico. This needs to be renewed. 
Um, this is cool. My mom got this from like some sort of like convention. It's like a little baby med kit thing. And then here's my med kit. I'll have a link to my EDC video. So I've got two videos to link now. More Dr. Pepper stuff, Whataburger, um, tent, uh, Xbox, Wi-Fi extender. Uh, geez, if you don't have a Wi-Fi extender and you have bad Wi-Fi, please buy one. They're less than like 100 bucks and it changes your life. You basically get your own little Wi-Fi network that basically piggybacks the other one. Uh, X-Wing, which has an R2-D2 and, a, oh wow, Poe Dameron in there. Uh, and then I need to buy a base plate because I want to make this into like a little hanger up here because as you can see it always falls and it's quite annoying because it barely sits on the router. This is sometimes where I put my keys. It's um, basically my keys started off as not having anything on them and then like I kept adding other keys and then like like most recent thing is like a USB so that's that's what it's designed for is there's a little Lego thing on my keychain and then that's where I always know where my keys are but I end up just putting them here. Um, Wii, which I never use, uh, Xbox, if I didn't say that already, um, New Republic, classified documents, and then school stuff, there's a little wireless keyboard here that I can use on any of my iPads, um, PS3 Super Slim, got that for my birthday, geez, three or four years ago, dirt cheap, it was like 200 bucks from Best Buy, and I am totally going to go lazy mode and sit in my chair here, oh look, um, PS2 Slim with Optimus Prime, Got that pretty cheap as well. Armband for my phone. Texas Rangers hat with a piggy hidden under there. I think it was like three bucks. Uh, what I use the most, actually, I am slowly transitioning to using this more because I play Battlefield 1 now um, instead of 4 these days. Um, Xbox 360, this thing, <laughs> yeah, it, it's, <laughs> um, it's got every USB on the back filled. Um, it's got like the optical out for my Turtle Beaches. It's that thing. I don't know how it still works. Um, this is um, like a little mini mouse that my dad gave me. Um, this is a case for this. This is a, uh, what is this called? Um, the Stream 8, HP Stream 8. It's basically a full-fledged computer um, inside, uh, inside a little tablet. It's great. It's like 200 bucks. Um, pretty cool. And then I've got another, please stop that. Another keyboard in there. Um, iPad Pro. Uh, I don't have that thumb set up yet. I got this recently. Um, this has just kind of been my go-to sidekick to my laptop for right now. Um, just because I can do, you know, if I need to do anything quick with an app or this thing, you know, super, super snappy. Still doesn't have 3D Touch, which is one thing that I thought I had, but I uh, didn't know that before I bought it. So, sucks, but whatever. Uh, TV, which we've covered. There's another speaker. Um, the HDMI switcher, one of two. There's the other one. There's Alexa. Alexa, stop. So, pretty cool. I basically use her mainly for um, Pandora, and she's also plugged into my speaker, so surround sound. Um, one thing that I just literally did before filming this video is you can't really see, but there's a Velcro strip under there. And then I've got my remote. And then, uh, oh, jeez. So getting used to the placement of it. This is the remote for HDMI switcher, so yeah, hey, it's me. Come back on here in a second. HDMI, this, this remote is great because I can use it on both HDMIs. Um, pretty cool. Uh, Batman, weird purple thing. Uh, there's a bunch of randomness. Um, super old janky knife. There's a lot down there. Um, Yeti, um, go to for water transportation. iPhone, iPhone 6s Plus. Uh, I'll get the 7s because I'm on a two-year contract. Um, but I don't really care because usually my phones last unless you jump into a swimming pool like I did with my iPhone 5s. Um, iPad Air 2, which is old iPad, but I still basically use this one more than this one for right now because I'm scared to use this and that's also why it's sitting on this because it doesn't have a case and I don't want to scratch up the beautiful Apple logo or the um, camera so I just kind of have it sitting here hoping that it doesn't break. Um, this little thing is called a boogie board. It's great. You can take notes on it and stuff and then it'll um, erase and it's great because it's saved so much paper for me and I have to rewrite to read my rewrite to read my history textbook or else I will forget. Need to take notes. College is fun. Um, this is where I have a bunch of games and stuff. So I game on occasion, not as much as I used to. 
Um, but I still try to. Obviously, most games I have are for my 360. Uh, then I've got PS1. I have one title. PS2, two titles. A bunch of PS3 titles. A couple PS4, and then a decent amount of PS Vita. Um, I used it a lot when it came out. Wii, Nintendo 3DS games, more Wii games, Xbox One, and the original Xbox. I should probably sell my 3DS and sell a bunch of games and get a decent amount of money, but I keep it because then it would mess up this whole thing. Up there is a Retro Duo Portable. Basically, with a bunch of um, adapters and stuff, you can play almost like all old consoles on that. Like, you can even play like Game Boy on there. There's an adapter. It's designed to run SNES without adapters, but then it comes with an NES adapter, and then they sell adapters for pretty much anything like cartridge based. Um, Game Boy Advance, that's the better model. It has like the screen thing. Um, Nintendo 3DS, PS Vita with the um, grip and then the charging stand, which is nice. Up top, this is the infamous knife that I use for all unboxing videos. Um, so yeah, it's 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 an M it's an Mtech Amazon knife. It's nothing fancy. It just looks cool. Wireless Xbox controller, two controllers for this. This thing is a beast. You can actually plug this into a TV. Um, so like on a road trip one time. I had one of those like old DVD player things, so I brought the monitor, I brought this, and I played Mario. It was great. Um, PS2 Blue controller. This is really cool. This is the, um, I forgot what the company is called, Bandai. Super high quality model stuff. Really annoying and long process to make, but really cool. Um, there's a, not a helmet band, head, head strap, headlight, headlight back there. Uh, Star Wars, Transformers, my Bible stuff, all my... These are my um, commentaries, uh, commentaries about the disciples, my devotion that I don't do. Uh, this is a simple history book, the only one that I bought about World War II, and then I realized, oh, this is basic, and I know already all of this. Um, Bible journal, living by the book, which is basically just like studying stuff. This thing I got from Secret Santa a couple years ago, and it's dope. It's a stormtrooper thing, and it had chocolate in there. I don't know what's in there, but something. Uh, moving on to guns, I, I do airsoft and stuff. Um, uh, that's a fake train grenade. Oh, look. That's right there. Um, that's my cocktail gun. That's my, that's Thrash, which is, uh, my Mark 18. That's my KWA LM4 that I'm trying to sell. Um, my new SEMA M14, which is a beast. Um, Elite Force 1911A1, KWA ATP Gen 1, and then 257s. This one's broken, and trying to find parts for that sucks. I need to do more searching, and I need to devote some time, but I don't want to. Uh, I just kind of want to you know, find it and get it over with, but... Uh, moving on, we're kind of done with this whole side thing. If you have any questions about anything, leave them in the comments below. Um, up there, I've got a... Uh, the average response time of a 911 call is 23 minutes. The response time of 357 is 1,400 feet per second. Excuse me. Uh, USMC flag up there that I've had for years and years that's not centered, but <laughs> there's so many staples on the top of that. I hung that so poorly. Um, Airsoft Wolverines, um... That's not a banner, it's a, um... Cornice. Cornice with no wood in it. Uh, my mom's an interior designer, so... Um, loadout stand. I also have a video on that that I'll try to include. Hopefully I can remember to include all of this. Um, it's got my multi cam kit on there right now. And then I don't have the goggles on there. I just got this quality safety. And then this is the mask that I wear when I don't wear helmets. Or helmets that at least I can't use the um, clips on. I got an entire multi cam loadout if you're so inclined. That's old though. It's got a gun that I don't even have anymore. Moving to my workbench, I could do an entire video dedicated to my workbench, and there's been quite a lot of work since the last time I did a workbench video. So, what was it? Um, uh, the, uh, the aviator guy, I forgot his name, but the one who suggested this, if you want to see a suggested video on the new update of this, I can totally do that. Basic rundown, small port, um, parts organizer, magnetic strip to hold stuff, pliers, vice grips, more pliers, um, like electric, it's like a 13 in 1. Uh, mini blowtorch, gas valve for gas guns, uh, tape, a um, little saw, a bunch of New Republic patches, all like different lubes and stuff, 50 cal shell, pretty cool. Shout out to Adam. Um, hammer, carry load stuff, big work light, this thing is a beast. Probably gonna blind y'all. Um, it's also a good heat lamp, and I'm probably gonna replace it with an LED soon. Um, but I'm going into winter, so I probably won't this janky thing that never stays up. Um, 
parts and stuff. <laughs> Here's another iPad. This is an iPad 2, and what I'm planning on doing is getting a little like thing that comes out of the back, and then I can actually mount my iPad, and I'm going to put my iPad on there. So that way, if I ever need to look up anything, maybe like a part I need to buy or something, see if it's available, I can do that right from my workbench. I don't have to go over there. That's also why I have this keyboard here to um, be companion to that, so I don't have to like do a weird typing on like floating air thing. Uh, old radios, a bunch of different parts and stuff. Chronograph, um, heat shrink, this fancy level thing that I got from my dad. Eh, I can't open it, but it's cool, trust me. Um, counterweights for helmets. A bunch of bags, silicone oil, Velcro. A Dremel, a LiPo charger. Um, stuff for 1911. A LiPo bag that I never use. Um, elastic, zip ties for days. A ruler and camouflage, because it's got to be here by the workbench. Zippo, Zippo lighter fluid. Um, batteries, adhesives, smart charger, string. This is basically like my sewing center right there. It's very small. Uh, this really cool American lighter. Uh, America lighter. And then Zippos always need to be refilled, which I find very annoying. That's why I end up using my blowtorch. Um, paintbrushes, BBs. Trying to sell my own four. Um, safety goggles. Little tiny um, target set, nails, patches that need to be painted, um, broken speaker, broken everything. Um, yeah, here's my small helmet display. I have mannequins. This is a replica M1. This is my Odie Green Fast helmet. Over here is just a power strip. I've got like a, like a phone charger when I'm over here for too long. Uh, parts. More parts, parts that aren't airsoft, that's just for like building stuff at home. A uh, towel, um, great for a few over lube guns. Oh wow, it fell again, stupid things, too heavy for the magnetic strip. Please stay, please stay. Oh, it's because of this darn thing, okay. Um, bah, modified bar stool, this whole thing's modified. I had to basically cut out this whole thing. There were th originally, um, three drawers in the middle, but then I took out the drawers and then cut out the crossbars. Um, that way I could actually sit under my workbench. Um, geez, what else do we got? Trash and recycling. Some random motors that can go in guns, except for that one because it's broken, but those other three work. Um, they always fall, but I like to keep them up. Airsoft um, boxes, and then this is also um, bulbs for that light. Um, fun fact, it smoked one time, that was interesting. Um, Thunderbee pin, broken Thunderbee, um, more boxes, random stuff. I got a lightsaber and a Marine Corps book and a Xbox 360 controller, Xbox One, Kills on 3 Collector's Edition, or whatever the top tier Collector's Edition, Dr. Pepper, more cans, um, personal armor system for ground troops helmet with a chocolate chip helmet band and a tan, um, helmet band, that chocolate chip helmet cover. Um, I forgot what country this is. It's from like World War II. That's cool. Patch collection. I have a video dedicated to patches. Um, trespassers. No trespassing. Barriers will be shot. Survivors will be shot again. Haha. -ha. Humor. VFC Scar. SEMA AK. Not SEMA. Technically it's SEMA. It's really Elite Force, but it was made by SEMA. And then, like, licensing issues. So technically it has Red Jacket Trades. Red Jacket Trades. It's a process. And then they put Elite Force stickers on it. That's a funny history. Um, G36. I think it's just the regular one. We don't call 911. We use cold. Uh, revolver and automatic pistols. Fake security camera that everyone gets freaked out when they come over. Uh, iPad Pro Box. I think I covered. Oh, I didn't cover this whole thing. Um, basically, pouches and mags and stuff. G36 mags. AK, whatever mags, I don't know, there's too many dives to say AKs. Um, LM4 mags, mag poles, this is like batteries and such. This used to be a lot more organized. Um, this is a set for airsoft topics, and then down here, the uh, Afghan, because it gets cold here in Texas. Extra chair for when a friend comes over. Um, the table that I use for airsoft topics. A bunch of cardboard. There's another speaker. There's PhD flopper and a hat. Um, uh, there's an Apache uh, attack helicopter and uh, the kill zone hell gas helmet and a bunch of American flags. And then here is another Lego thing. This is my Lego Eiffel Tower that had to be modified for height because it was so.
freakishly tall. And also he ran out of parts. Um, because it was in a move and it was literally in, it was in that trash can disassembled. Um, blah, blah, blah. There's a bunch of people on here. This is a mock-up for a Hoth mock, which never got any further than this because I realized it was going to be a lot of pieces. Um, a lot of pieces I didn't have because I think that's almost all my white pieces I have, surprisingly. Um, this is one of my other gear lockers. We'll get to the other one later. That'll be last. A uh, Vietnam kit and then, like, <laughs> even more guns that I'm trying to sell. Um, there's like a standalone grenade launcher, a shorty M203, a WEM9 USMC edition, and Elite Force 1911 TAC. Um, down there is a bunch of like Game Informer and stuff. I have way too many, and then I finally stopped signing up for the subscription because, um, yeah, I didn't read them, and um, Game Informer is all, I think, super biased because it's written by the people that are GameStop, so they're just basically trying to get you to buy their games, you know. Not their games in the fact of, like, developers, but, like, going to their store and buying games in general. So, um, this is my nightstand. This is my bed, a.k.a. the set for almost 90% of my videos. Um, uh, my clock and my lamp, which is my lighting for the set. Um, this guy made out of parts and stuff. Random revolvers and such. Complaint department, take a number, please. Ha <laughs> ha, humor. Um, books, lanyard collection, books. Um, Captain Jack Sparrow with an umbrella. Isn't that nice? Uh, a little drone rover thing. Oh, look, it's me when I was small. Um, there's a thing that I got in Paris, and then the guy actually drew that, and I bought it right from him. Pretty cool. Look, it's a tank made out of bulk casings that my sister got me at Pearl Harbor. Uh, there's not much else here. Fake samurai sword. It's, it's real, but it doesn't. It's not sharp. More patches. Um, Texas. Captain America, because he's the best. American flag. Um, let's see. This is a charger, and also my Apple charger. Not Apple charger. My Apple Watch charger, and then my iPhone charger. Uh, da -da, my bed, and then over here I've got like a meteor crater that I went to with my grandfather in Arizona. He lives there. Um, this is funny. It's a caution, caution, hazardous radioactive material handle in this area at own risk. And at my old house, it used to be on my bathroom door. The box collection that has gotten way too big. Um, hard drive, headphones, this camera box, the camera that I'm recording on, the presenter box, old janky camera. The old potato camera, long-time fans will know. Um, what is it? Colonial, uh, the, uh, geez. Uh, the Aliens Colonial Marines Collector's Edition. It was like 30 bucks. Um, PSP iPad Air 2 box, two Chromecast boxes, Bluteo wireless um, headphones. If you need good, cheap wireless headphones, these are like 30 bucks, and they're um, as good as Beats, because Beats are trash. Um, Xbox One, Xbox 360, um, HNK MP7, yeah, I don't even own that gun anymore. Why did I not give him the box? <laughs> Whoops. The HP Stream 8, I need to contact him. Um, Retro Duo Portable, PS3, PS4, um, Booker Do It, which is the main character of Bioshock Infinite. I got this for like a rewards thing. Um, this is from a rum thing. I don't drink, but I was, I thought it was cool. And I was like, oh, this looks like it's like a treasure or something. 1525. That's a long time ago. It's like three years ago. It's a long time. This is the Bandai box from there. The Lego box. I wish I could buy. I used to have an entire room dedicated with Legos. Um, I have my old house, and so I wish I had that much. Has that many Legos, but I don't. My go to belt. My Emerson Riggers belt that I wear every day. My kicks. Nikes. Magpul box that I got whenever I bought a Magpul stock, and it's cool in the back. It has their entire catalog. I think the year 2013, something like that. USS Texas. We can we can go in here real quick. It's just my closet. Um, look, I play the cello. Surprise! Here's a tripod that I use for my videos, and here's my uniforms that I literally have too many of them, and then I literally have to cram everything because I have to shove it all. Well, I have to shove it all this way because I have so many uniforms. Um, Russian, am I right? I'm like, like that, I like that. This stuff. This is what I use for Airsoft. Here's a case. A pistol case that I use for Airsoft. It's pretty cool. Um, 
not much else airsoft in here. Homemade cardboard chair that I do for engineering last year. Small compressor that can't power anything. Light bar. Uh, two US flags I need to give back to a friend because they're not mine. Well, they are. He gave them to me, but I think he should have them. Um, that's about it. Up there. It's, it's every piece of music that I've ever played is in there, so it's kind of cool. Yes, I keep everything. Every day I wake up and I sit here putting on my shoes for school, and this is what I get to look at. Uh, <laughs> compost happens. Jokes. Um, Dominican Republic, Colorado, Peru Museum, UK. I've traveled. Okay, I actually used to live in Colorado. Bahamas, um, petrified forest. And sometimes my dad will just put random stickers, because <laughs> I don't know why. This is my main locker. This is the one that has all the other stickers on it. There's also more stickers on this side. Jeez, I didn't realize I have that many. Giant Texas flag, that's awesome. Um, yeah, stuff. Uh, on top, real quick, sunglasses collection. Um, piggy bank. A T Rex. Race cars, on the go, checkers, or chess, but I don't know how to play chess. My money, my life savings, my hat. I don't really use your airsoft that much, I usually use it mainly for outdoor work. Um, when I travel and stuff, if I ever get like a boarding pass or go to an event, I put it in here. This thing is jam packed and uh, it's cool because I got this in Scotland way back in 2013 when I was, was like my first out of country trip. This is all like old style of. Um, Candies. This is cool. This is a calendar of the Astrodome, and then you're supposed to like manually flip it, and it's like a calendar, right? And then you do the month and the day. Um, I, I never keep up with it. It was like from February, all right. Of I was like Wednesday on the fourth. I don't know if that was an actual thing. It probably was. Um, this is my locker. Uh, don't forget Sling Point, because I used to do that a lot. This is my new JPC. There's a video dedicated to that. I'm going to have to have so many videos to link, I'm totally going to forget. Um, that is all. This is, okay, so ammo can basically divides kits. So on the right side is multi-cam, but all my multi-cam stuff is over on the stand. And then left is um, uh, M81 slash OD Green stuff. And then back there you can see is a reflective armband for my Russian kit, but the Russian kit is based off the Russian VDV, which is their paratrooper division. Um, and they don't actually wear the armbands, so it's funny. Green gas, propane with a broken propane adapter. That thing is full of magazines, and I just remembered that, and I should look through that. Um, uh, see, I literally have so much stuff, it's ridiculous. Red gas, whole freaking load full of, um, IFACs, which are, uh, individual first aid kits, but they're just basically bandages that you tie around. Uh, this is a, um, what's it called? Uh... It's a holster thing for my 5.7, um, and then it's a material where it doesn't stretch and it's like plastic and it's cool. Uh, it's just held in there by retention. I literally hate that I can't remember that. That is a meal set, and then look, silverware. And there's a compass. It's a fancy compass. That's about it. USS Texas, I probably already mentioned that. <sighs> I'm out of breath. Uh, back there, there's a hook that I used to put my towel on for the bathroom, but I put the bathroom towel now in the bathroom itself. That was probably just seemed like a rambling video, which it totally was, because room tour is just, it's my life, it's a mess. So it's just kind of everything. Um, Aviator, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, I'm sorry, I forgot your name. It was like Rebellious Aviator or something. Um, but yeah, this is my room. I actually went through a power cell on my battery. Wow. Uh, yeah, I hope this is satisfying you. This thing's probably 30 minutes long now, but hope you guys enjoyed this video. God bless, and we'll see you guys next time.